Xiaomi Mi Band has been out quite a while and has been at the center of attention thanks to its aggressively low pricing and the overall functionality it offers. However, since this product was at first only available in China, it is still a mystery to many international customers and a lot of questions were raised in regards of its functionality. We've been doing some digging on the internet and we've decided to answer some of the most interesting questions about the Xiaomi Mi Band in this video. First off, many of you might want to know how the Mi Band works. Well, simply put, the Mi Band is a motion sensor strapped to your wrist. The primary component that tracks and registers your motion is an ADXL 362 MEMS accelerometer, which can be found in the Mi Band's motherboard. It is capable of detecting in real time the changes of the gravitational accelerations placed in a three dimensional coordinate. So we already have the hardware that monitors and stores our motion, but that's not all. You also need the software and its algorithm that can digest, in other words, analyze and convert, the motion data feed that comes from the Mi Band, and then present them in an intuitive manner. So in this case, the Mi Fit application is also an integral part of the system. To sum it up, you have the hardware that monitors and collects motion data, and you have the software that processes the data and presents them. It's far from rocket science. Is the data accurate? As for all fitness trackers available, absolute accuracy is impossible. In case of the Mi Band, its accuracy is determined by several factors. Firstly, the data you've entered about your weight and height is crucial to the Mi Band's accuracy, since Mi Fit will adjust its algorithm accordingly. On the other hand, how you swing your arms, the distance of your stride, the flatness of the ground, and whether you're walking up or down the stairs can affect the Mi Band's accuracy. Does it work with Google Fit? Short answer, yes. Recently, Xiaomi added support for Google Fit to the Xiaomi Band. You do need the latest version of the Mi Fit app for this, and of course, the Google Fit application. Once you installed Google Fit on your device, go to the Mi Fit app, open the menu, Accounts, and then click Sync with Google Fit. After entering your Google account details, you're now ready to use Google Fit. You can check this if you open the Google Fit app, go to the settings, then Apps Connected. Here you should see the Mi Fit app. If you go back to the main page of the Google Fit app and swipe down, it will sync the data with the Mi Fit app. Does the band work with Tasker? Yes, but only if you use the tweaked Mi Fit Notify app. This app, which can be found on the MyUI forums and has the support of Xiaomi, extends the notifications of the Mi Band and also allows you to combine it with Tasker. There's a very good how-to found on the same MyUI forum. Tasker is used to create, as the name states, automated tasks. You can, for example, create a task that will make the Mi Band vibrate every time an hour has passed. In Tasker, you have to create a task that will end and send a notification to your phone. In the Mi Fit Notify app, you can select this task you have created to pick up the notification and make the Mi Band vibrate whenever this task happens. It works just like any other notification you can see in the Mi Band app. There is an example to be found on the MyUI forums how to exactly create this. Note that this will only work when you have the Mi Fit Notify app installed. Does the Mi Band record step everywhere? even on the subway? Yes, the Mi Band keeps track of your steps wherever you are. Even if your cell phone has no signal, like in the subway, the Mi Band will record and sync it later. The Mi Band has its own built-in memory to record any steps anywhere for up to 10 days. However, keep in mind that it tracks movement. Heavy vibration, such as in a car on a bumpy road or in the train, will interfere with collecting your body movement. Does the Mi Band record all sleep, even my nap at noon? Yes and no. The Mi Band records movement and can detect when you're sleeping. The Mi Band together with the app will detect sleep patterns. It will know you are sleeping by sensing your body movement. It will then record light or deep sleep and wake time and display these statistics in the app. The more you use the Mi Band, the more it learns and can recognize your sleep patterns. However, the app is limited 
that it will only show the statistics of your main night's sleep, not your noon nap. Does the Mi Band notify me about a phone call? And why does that take 20 seconds? And does it vibrate even when my phone is on silent mode? The Mi Band will vibrate at an incoming call to your mobile. The default setting of this is after 20 seconds. But you are free to change this to a shorter time or longer. You can do this in the settings of the app. And yes, it will vibrate even if you turn your phone to a silent mode. Does the Mi Band support Windows Phone or Apple iOS? The Mi Band supports Android above 4.3 and Apple iOS 7.1 and 8. It currently does not officially support Windows Phone, but there is a beta version of the app in the market store. Keep in mind you still need to connect your Mi Band to an Android phone first to update the firmware. Is the Mi Band waterproof? Can I go swim with it? Yes, the Mi Band is waterproof, but swimming with it is not recommended. The Mi Band is certified IP67. The IP cord is an international standard that tells you how protected an electronic device is. An IP cord consists of two digits. The first digit said something about solid, the second about liquid. In this case, the first digit 6 means dust proof. The second digit 7 means it is protected against immersion in liquid between 15 cm and 1 meter for up to 3 minutes. So a shower or rainstorm should not be a problem. But it is not recommended to go swimming or taking a bus with the Mi Band. Can you sync the Mi Band in other ways? The Mi Band uses Bluetooth 4.0 LE to sync its data with the app. This can be an Android device running Android 4.3 or higher, an Apple iOS device running 7.1 or 8. As said earlier, there is an unofficial app to sync with Windows Form 8 or 8.1. It is also possible to sync with the PC, but not in a way that people would normally imagine. After all the charger does not have data functionality, to carry out this type of synchronization, you need to run Android in VirtualBox and have Bluetooth 4.0 on your PC. And we have to remind you that this method does not necessarily work with all Bluetooth chipsets. There are no other ways to sync with the Mi Band. How can I charge my Mi Band? The Mi Band has a 41 mAh battery, which with normal use can last at least a month. To charge your Mi Band, you can place it in a USB cradle and connect the cradle to your PC. The cradle can handle up to 5 volts. It is recommended not to use an AC charger because this could reduce battery life. It will take around 2 to 3 hours to fully charge the Mi Band. Charging from a power bank is not supported. As the Mi Band only supports up to 25 mAh charging current and the power bank puts out 1A or 2A in some cases, it will cause the power bank to recognize the device as already charged and thus cut out the charging current automatically. However, this doesn't mean you can't charge the Mi Band via a mobile power source. Simply connect the charger to an OTG cable and plug the cable into a smartphone or tablet can do the trick. So what else would you like to know about the Mi Band? Tell us in the comments below and who knows we might make a new video to answer your questions. And at the same time would like to thank the English MyUI Forum and China's Internet for providing the vital information to make this video possible. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.